Uh, well, a good weekend for us and for our league. You know, to win the challenge was great, and um, obviously a terrific win against a really good Ole Miss team. But now it's back to conference play, and we've we've got a huge week in front of us, one game at a time. We got West Virginia Wednesday. Uh, obviously, the the things they bring to the table is their toughness and physicality up front, and that's the biggest thing we need to focus on the next couple of days is, you know, defending the paint, defending the dribble, and, and finishing plays. Uh, but um, you know, excited for this week. Excited to get back in front of our fans, and I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere. You've kind of hinted for the last couple of weeks that this may be the time of year when you when you look at a different lineup, starting lineup. Is that coming to fruition or yeah I don't know I think you guys are pressing that a lot more than than I am I'm just answering the questions you ask me um I just you know for our situation we just whatever I think is best for our team to to max out I mean it's really the best way I can answer it is it is it a tough balance I mean you've got seven guys now I mean you're yeah kind of a superstitious guy I think I mean, you, you've gone with the same lineup as long as they keep committed. Yeah. So you know, why would you change? Yeah, I mean, we've got seven guys that are that are legit starters. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But it's like I told the guys, Mario Shayok's the leading scorer in the Big 12. He didn't play the last 12 minutes, <laughs> you know. So, um, you know, whoever I think is gives us the best opportunity, I think that's when we're at our best. When I'm when I'm focused on that. Aside from their record, how have you seen West Virginia be different this year than uh, the last three? You know, I've just, you know, I got started them yesterday. You know, I really always like to watch our old games from the previous year first. And then, um, and so I've watched a couple games so far. Um, the relentless full court pressure I haven't seen in a couple games that I've watched so far, I think that would be, if I was to pick one, that would be the biggest thing. But what they do offensively, uh, really trying to, you know, attack the paint uh, with post feeds, you know, and whether it's you know, or dribble drive, but but to play 15 feet and in, um, that's still their staple, I think, offensively. I just think defensively, um, you know, in the couple games that I've seen, I've got a lot more to watch until till Wednesday, but um, not as much as just the, the relentless pressure on the ball, 94 feet. As, as you've seen it sometimes. Now they may have done it earlier in the year. I just these are these are the games of recent date. You talked about number four not really running off that, just attacking that. Which you have a team that would be good at that this year, but do you have to alter that a little bit if they're not going to be you know, pressuring 94 feet? Well, I think they're still going to try to overplay. I think they're still going to play kind of like Oklahoma State does in the sense of of getting in passing lanes and really extending their defense. Um, but but if not, then we just have to. You know, you know, run good offense and get good ball movement. But um, you know, whether they extend pressure or not, I still I think in the half court, from what I've seen, most of it, they're still extending half court. In, in, in the half court, they're still extending their pressure. But either way, we got to space the floor. We got to make plays. We got to make the extra pass. We got to cut the right way and share the ball. And if we do that, it gives us opportunities. As for Talon's progression, where is he right now? As you know, when you maybe thought beginning of the year where he could be at this point in time? Well, he was really good on Saturday. Um, and so that's that was great for him. Uh, he was really effective in the one three one. He was effective against the zone. Uh, he was effective in transition. He made shots. He made some tough shots. Uh, thought he was really good. And so, um, you know, he's had some ups and downs, you know, with different games. And hopefully this kind of gets him a little bit more focused as we go into the second half of are about to get close to starting the second half of conference play of, you know, his daily habits. I thought he practiced. I thought he had his best practice before he left to go to Ole Miss. Now, if that led into him playing well, I don't know. Uh, but I thought he was really dialed in and focused in that regards. And so that was good. Um, I mean, I think he's having a good freshman year. He had some ups and down games, yeah. Uh, but that that's part of it when you're going to play, you know, two games a week. They're not all going to be perfect. But, um, you know, do I want to see him continue to grow on the defensive end? Yes. Uh, does he need to continue to prove shot selection? Yes. Uh, is he uh, is he a high-level offensive skilled player uh, that can do a lot of things? No doubt about it. And we need him to continue to improve in that, you know, and, and be aggressive. Is his defense underrated a little bit? Because sometimes it seems like that end does get him going at the other end, and 
I don't know. Is, is, what do you think in terms well, of? I think I think he's he's done a great job. He hasn't drawn charges as much lately as he has early in the year. I think he's a great charge guy, and I think he's he can be good in gaps. Uh, what he's got to do, I mean, if you're really going to break him down defensively, he's got to get to where he can close out short, high hands, contain the ball, can change dribble penetration. Uh, he, he's got to do that, be more up on point of screens and to switch better, to show better. Um, but as a help defender, I think he's, he's done a lot of really good things. You mentioned Friday, even before you played Ole Miss, the importance of this week. You mentioned it in your opening statement again. What, what is the balance for you of preaching what, what this week means for your guys' hopes, midway, you know, get you to the midway point and you know, try not to overplay that a little bit? But the hope is we have a good practice today, you know, and that's it, really, to be honest. And then I think these guys know we all how much we respect West Virginia and Coach Huggins and, and how tough and physical of a game we know it's going to be. And so it goes no further than that. It needs to be, you know, you know, everybody's different. But I think today it just really needs to be about us. I mean, we may talk, talk on West Virginia and film uh, a little bit before because we got to put in our press attack today. But – it really needs to be about us. I mean, we got a lot of things defensively we need to continue to grow on. We spent a lot of time with that and not a ton of time with Ole Miss last week um, because we've got to continue to get better. Um, but it's one game, it's the next game, it's a big game because they're all big in conference as you go down the stretch here. And so uh, we need to play well and hopefully be able to you know, start a good homestand. You've got four new starters from last year, obviously. Um, what? What are some of the keys that have, you know, you're in, yet you're a half a game out of first place, whatever it is. What are the keys that have made you guys so successful in making national waves like you're making now? Well, we got good players. I mean, we got good players. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And they're doing a great job of, of sharing the ball and playing together. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the couple guys that sat out have been a big lift for us. Marlon, Mike, the freshman, Tyrese, and... Um, and Taylor have been terrific, and I think George in his minutes has been been really good. And then we've got returning guys like Lindell and Cameron who are just getting getting up to their their strides. I thought Cameron's game against Ole Miss the other day defensively, he was as good as he's been uh, since he's been here. Uh, Lindell, you know, has gotten to where you know he's you know really what is it maybe two out of the last three games he shot it really really well, and so where you know hopefully he's getting back into a good rhythm. Uh, offensively, you know, for us, you know, because those are two guys that when when they play well, um, you know, that really makes us deep and really makes us, like I say, legit seven starters. And so, um, you know, the biggest thing is just can we improve defensively? Can we continue to grow defensively? Uh, can we continue to uh, to grow and being selfless and, and playing for Iowa State? Um, and if we can do that, I think this team can can do a lot of really good things. But you know, the the biggest thing is you know we we're, we're fortunate we got some good good players with good character um, that right now are playing the right way. When you rewatch the second half on Saturday, what you guys did offensively, did that feel like a replicable formula, or was it more of a one off because of the, the zone that they were? A little bit, a little yeah. bit. I mean, now we made shots. You know, we made great decisions. I think. Um, but but some of it, you know, you know, the zone leads you to that. Whether it was one three one, whether it's a two three, um, it leads you to some opportunities. Uh, so that helped. But our guys did a good job of moving without the basketball, of making the extra pass. You know, nineteen turnovers is just too many uh, for this team. We should be ten or less. But a lot of them, you know, credit them for some of them. But a lot of them, you know, we just got to make better plays and better decisions. Uh, we're trying to make a couple home run plays, but. Um, a little bit of both. I mean, what you're saying is right. A little bit of both. You know, it, you're going to give us an open floor. You know, it's it's probably these guys are probably going to make the right decision eight, nine out of ten times. Kind of piggyback, piggybacking off of Randy's question, uh, do you think that there was a learning curve for Lindell and Cam, just can, the kind of team they were on last year coming into the one this year, and maybe that was underappreciated coming into the season a little bit? Well, uh, last year was so unique. Um, in the regards to where we, we basically lost everybody in the program over a two year period and we, we had nobody coming up the ranks, you know, to kind of take over the leadership roles. Uh, so everybody was thrust into new roles. Uh, the freshmen came in, there was really nobody to just say, hey, how does this thing work, Naz? How does this thing work, George? How does this thing work, Monte? Um, and so it was really trial by fire. And so, um, 
then we got you know you had a situation we got a bunch of injuries and, and th different things like that um, to where you know guys you know probably had to play you know whether it was more minutes extended roles whatever it may be to where you know you know going back when you watch these old games you know maybe there's a lot of things I should have done better you know when you just back and evaluate what you could have done to help more um, but hopefully what last year has done to this year is they can see, hey, man, you know, we got a chance to be a part of something special. And we got a chance to, hey, man, we had to go through these learning curves and learning process. Um, and hopefully that's going to help them be stronger as they go down the stretch run here. Because, you know, we, we, we need those two guys, Lindell and Cameron, to be really good for us. Uh, I thought Cameron, again, defensively was, was terrific, you know. Um, even his ball screen defense was good. He was up at the point of the screen. He hadn't done that in a long time. And then I guess, again, Lindell, you know, he made shots and, um, you know, he cut to the basket. You know, he got an and one. I think, what do you have, 16, 18 points? Um, and so we need that, you know, from him as well.